Hello and welcome to PA Academy. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a circle of given radius to touch two other circles of given radius, such that the circle that we are going to be drawing, one is going to be inside the circle and another one is going to be outside the circle. So let me give you a, an illustration of what you are going to be doing. So let's say we have uh, two circles with a given radius. So we have one circle like this. Okay, let me come down a bit. So let's say we have one circle like this of a given radius and we have another circle of given radius. Now we know the radius of these two circles. And now we want to draw another circle, that's the third circle, such that by the time we draw the circle, one of, is going to be inside and one is going to be outside. So we are going to be having something like this. Okay. So you can see it's just, uh, this is a freehand sketch, that's why I'm making this mistake. So we are going to be having something like this. We are going to be having a circle like this. So let me draw it here again. One given circle, the second given circle. And we are going to be having another circle that will let one will be inside and one will be outside. So we'll be having something like this. Yeah. So how do we go about? So you can see that in this circle we have, this one is inside. We have this one is outside and in, another interesting thing is that the circle that we've just drawn is touching both circle it's touching both circle so it's touching the two circles so how do we go about it and that's what i'm going to be showing you in this video so before we get into this video please if you are here to subscribe to pa academy uh please click on the red subscribe button uh below and the little bell icon so that you get notified when i release a new video Alright, so take your time to click on the subscribe button. Please click on the subscribe button to it helps this channel to grow. Uh, okay, so if you have subscribed, do let me know in the comment section below. Just comment that I've subscribed and I will appreciate that. Alright, so let's get into this video. So in order to do this, let me give you the radius that we are going to be using to illustrate this example. So since we have three circles, we are going to be having three radius. So the radius of this circle, so let me say the bigger circle. So let's represent it with R1. So we are going to be having a circle with a radius of 7 cm. And then for the two other circles, let's call that R2. One is going to be with a radius of 3 cm. And then for R3, we are going to be having a radius of 2 cm. So these are the radius we are going to be using. So now we are going to be drawing these two, the R2 and R3 first. So I bring my compass and then measure... Uh, 3 centimeter so I already have my this is my 3 centimeter so I want to draw the first circle so that is the first circle so let me note the the center of that circle. Let me note that point A. Point A. So let me also write it there that, okay, this is uh, R1, I mean R2 rather, R2 with 3 centimeter. So, so that you don't get confused. Alright, so that is, I think you can see it now. So that is it for the R2. So let's draw that of R3 with a radius of 2 centimeter. So I pick my compass. And set measure two centimeter. So I already have my two centimeter. So let me place it somewhere here. So I already have. So let me call this point, point B, the center of the circle, point B. And with the radius, so let me just illustrate it. So the radius here is R3, R3, which is 2 centimeter. So let me do the same thing here. So that is it. The radius here is 3 centimeter, and the radius here is 2 centimeter. So the next thing we want to do is to find the center of the circle that we are going to be drawing that is for this 
bigger circle now is to find the center of this bigger circle so that by the time we draw it we are going to be having this particular circle will be inside that is this one will be inside why this one will be outside but it will be touching both circles so to do that if you look at this the radius of the bigger circle is seven centimeter so what we want to do now we are starting with this circle since the radius of bigger circle is 7 cm and the radius of this particular circle is 2 cm, what we are going to do is we are going to subtract it. So we are going to be having R1 minus R3. So that is the same as 7 cm minus 2 cm. So that will give us 5 cm. So just follow along. So I bring in my ruler and measure 5 cm. So this is my 5 centimeter. I'll place it on point B. On point B and draw an arc. And draw an arc. So that is for point B. Now on this side for this from point A now, this time around we are now going to be having R2 plus R1. So we are going to be having R2 which is the radius of this circle. R2 plus R1, which is the radius of the circle that we are going to be drawing, this radius of the bigger circle, plus R1. So that would be 3 cm plus 7 cm. And that's 10 cm. It's a very simple process. Don't let this little calculation uh, to scare you or to give you issues. So, the respect of the length that you are, I mean, the radius you are using is still the same step. So now I'm going to measure 10 cm. So I already have my 10 cm right here. Let me be sure that it's accurate. Okay. So from point A, I'll draw an arc to cut this first arc. So I hope you can see it. So let me note their point of intersection, which is this point. So the point of intersection represents the center of the circle that we are going to be drawing. So let me call that point, point O. So let me try to make it clear so you can see it. So that's the point of intersection. So now we know the point of intersection of the circle. So now I'll pick my compass and measure 7 cm. Alright, so I already have my compass to be at 7 cm. So what I'll do is to place it on point 0. That is the, where they intersect, where the two arc intercept. And from there, I'll draw the circle. So this is the circle. So now I have my, my circle. So let me make it more bold. So, so this is it. So this is the circle. So we have one circle inside the circle. And we have another one outside the circle. And the important thing is that you can see they are touching each other. This circle is touching this. And this is also touching this. So this is how you go about to draw a circle when you are given the, of a given radius to touch two other circles of given radius such that one will be inside and another one will be outside. So if you find this video helpful, kindly give it a thumbs up. If you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, I kindly click on the subscribe button, that red button with subscribe written on it. It won't cost you anything, just click on it and then the little bell icon beside the subscribe button to help this channel grow. Do make sure you share this video with your colleagues who you think this video will be helpful to them. You can also check out our playlist on technical drawing for more videos like this, for more videos on technical drawing. You check visit our website paacademy.co. So with that guys, I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.